What is going on, fam? Thank you very much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about an unquiet mind and the five lessons that I learned from reading K. Redfield Jameson's memoir. For those of you who are unaware, Dr. K. Redfield Jameson is a clinical psychologist, but she's also a diagnosed bipolar one patient. I believe she practices at the John Hopkins Medical School of Psychiatry Department. And given that she's not an actual psychiatrist, she's a psychologist, meaning she's a PhD, not an MD or DO. She has a lot of privileges that a lot of psychologists actually desire because she doesn't have the typical career path route, but that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to be talking so much about the memoir itself because the memoir, I believe, is something that you as the audience should read should you be recently diagnosed or maybe you are trying to get a different perspective on the term bipolar disorder or manic depression, which is what the former name is. But I do want to make it clear, it is a very difficult read in regards to her sentence structure. So there's a there's a particular type of cadence attached to this memoir. And the cadence is, truth be told, it's almost as if she was trying to write poetry. But I'm not here to critique in the manner of what she wrote because the content's still good. It's just the way she displayed it and conveyed it. It's a little off-putting because at some points in her memoir, you kind of just want her to get to the point, if I can be candid. Moving forward, there is an Amazon link down below that will allow you to get your version of it. It is a really good read because it shows you literally the mood and madness that comes with bipolar disorder. Now, in her particular diagnosis and her specifiers to her manic depression, I believe she has rapid cycling. She also has uh, psychotic features with that, and I believe she has recurrent depression. Specifiers are those add-ons, as I like to call them, to just bipolar disorder because it explicitly states what kind you have. It's different for everybody, and you do have to get very educated and become cognizant, whether it's you, a family member, or a loved one, on how it's going to affect not only your life, but their life as well. This will be available down below. Let's go ahead and get into the first lesson. Mm -hmm. 